Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why should truck drivers use their mirrors and exactly how you should be using your mirrors to make sure you don't end up like this guy right over here, right? So this is an example of why truck drivers get into accidents. There's really two main reasons why truck drivers get into accidents. Reason number one is that their following distance is not the proper following distance, which means that most of the time they're going too fast and they don't have enough space between them and whatever obstacles in front of them to come to a complete stop. And then the second most important reason is going to be not checking your mirrors and not understanding your surroundings enough, right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about everything that has to do with truck driver mirrors. Now, if you want to get into this profession, those mirrors are going to be your best friends. And the way you should actually understand it is you're going to be like a lifeguard for the rest of your life being a truck driver. Because if you've ever been to a pool where a lifeguard happens, you usually see something that looks like this. And all they're doing is scanning all the time. Now, that's the same thing that is going to happen with you. Your head should always be on a swivel, right? They say anywhere from every 6 to 15 seconds, you should always be checking, scanning different areas of the vehicle. So that means you're going to be checking the front for a certain period of time. You're going to be moving, looking at your passenger side mirror, looking at your driver's side mirror, moving throughout the entire vehicle and making sure that you're always constantly scanning around you. Now, in most trucks, there's going to be a minimum of four different mirrors. You're going to have these long mirrors right over here on either side of you, plus underneath them, you're usually going to have what's called a circle mirror or a convex mirror, right? So those, between those four mirrors, that's going to give you a better understanding of what's happening uh, behind you. Now. If for some trucks, some truck drivers actually like to install what's called hood mirrors. Now the hood mirrors are also a good uh, observation point as well. And they're going to be, if you look forward, they're going to be in the mirrors itself. And you can actually see that right in this picture right over here. And that just gives you a better wider angle view of what's happening, right? Those mirrors come especially in handy when you are backing up doing different maneuvers. But also you should always be checking them when you're driving forward as well. Because the one thing that we always tell our students is this. When you're driving a tractor and a trailer, what do you think is more important? What do you actually get paid to transport? The trailer. You don't technically get paid to transport the tractor itself, which means the majority of your time should be focused on the trailer. So if you're driving in a straight line or going around, it should be about a 50-50 split between looking forward and looking behind you, right? Same type of thing when it comes to making sure that you're pulling up for like a maneuver. So one of the maneuvers that we actually teach is going to be straight line backing. And we tell students, that if you want to learn how to back up straight, first you have to learn how to pull up straight. And that's why you should be focusing at least 60% of your time looking backwards to make sure you're setting yourself up for success when it comes to actually backing up straight. Now, if you've never been in a tractor trailer before, I understand this might sound Chinese to you. But when you actually come into our school and become one of our students here, we're going to walk you through this entire process on why mirrors are so, so important. But that being said, most tractor trailers have four different mirrors. There is no rear view mirror because you can't be looking over here and looking at the trailer. There's no backup cameras, nothing like that inside the trucks. That's why those mirrors are super important. But that being said, there are blind spots. So if you look at this diagram right over here, there's going to be a blind spot right behind the vehicle. There's going to be a blind spot right in front of the vehicle and to the sides of the vehicle as well. There's going to be things you simply cannot see. So sometimes you might have been driving in your car next to a truck and you might be saying, hey, if you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. Which means if you're right behind that tractor trailer, ain't no way they're going to be seeing you. That's why it's super important to always be scanning. Every time you're changing your lanes, you're always starting to see exactly what's happening around you. Because the safest drivers around are not going to fall into that victimhood. They're going to take responsibility for their surroundings and they're going to put themselves in the best surrounding area to keep themselves safe no matter what's happening around them itself, right? So this is a quick video to share with you exactly how important mirrors are. And one of the acronyms that you're going to be learning when you're here in school with us is the word goal. So because the mirrors are great, but for instance, if you're backing up and you simply cannot see, that's also why uh, students and truck drivers get into accidents is because, yeah, I've been checking out my mirrors, but what can you see? Nothing. I'm blocked by the truck, the trailer. So we'll go to the mirrors if you can't see. That's why the acronym of goal stands for get out and look. So if you can't see and you're backing up, maybe you're docking into a, a dock or maybe you're moving around a certain object, backing up, if you cannot see, stop the vehicle, even though you're checking out your mirrors, the next best step, get out and look. So I hope this helped you out. If you want some more hands-on training on exactly how to check your mirrors, if you want to actually get inside of a truck, get yourself a CDL license, 
I definitely invite you to give us a call, 908-525-3609, or check out our website at cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.